Hi everyone! So I thought I'll bring you to my behind the scenes of my dinner parties. I do dinner parties quite often for my friends and their friends and it's a great evening to meet new people, to try Russian food. Sometimes I do a different fusion between Russian, Latvian, Lithuanian, all sorts of mixes um, and it's so much fun. Um, I thought I'll show you some behind the scenes videos, how I prepare the food, what goes on. You might be lucky and meet some of my guests if they're not too shy. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought it would be something different and I wanted to share it with you. To make your dinner party successful, it's very essential to do all your prep before. So prepare as much as you can so it's so easy to just put or fry or bake something when your guests arrive and you don't need to stress and can enjoy a glass of wine as well. So I've done a little bit of prep already. Um, my pastry is ready to go and we're going to start off with our shot of vodka and herring and black rice. I love food and I love sharing my passion with others, especially seeing those smiley faces, that mmm, this tastes so good kind of comments and it makes me so happy. Um, a lot of you know that I cook as a passion and it became as my hobby. I started about two and a half years ago professionally. Before that I did all the office jobs and one day I thought, you know what, I'm going to do what I love and see how it goes. And I think so far it's working out really well. So if we open my fridge, it might be full, but I just wanted to show you I've done my desserts. They're right there and they're all ready. Beautiful strawberry cheesecake and some little surprises for my guests. And that's done, so I don't need to stress out over that. Here you can see a beef laid, and I'm going to actually warm it up. And it's uh, chunks of beef that's been slowly cooked and then rolled into a sausage. And it's such a delicious starter. So I thought I'll introduce my sister, my little baby sister, she just came back from Asia. Yeah, I travelled um, backpacked Asia for the last six months and I'm back, yay! <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's really good to have her back, I think she's very excited to have my food. She's been eating a lot of Asian food, but now it's time to eat some Mother some Russia. Russia. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's good, to, it's good to be back in London and uh, have some Eastern European cuisine in my heart. <laughs> Do you drink vodka? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Okay. The, these shot glasses are like literally Russian ones because you know how the shot glasses in England are tiny, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, and then you're out. You know? <laughs> See, this way it's a trick because you think it's small, but you think they keep pouring it. Okay. So yeah. So you down the shot first. And then you have that. All in one. All in go, yeah, the whole thing. Well, shot, shot and feed separately. <laughs> 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 like, no, it's <laughs> Just keep it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's that one, yeah. That's that one, yeah. <laughs> Really tasty, like different like textures. Yeah. The thing with dumplings to make them nice, 
it takes quite a lot of skill because yeah. otherwise like they get very basic and very doughy and the meat like so if it's deep. bland then it's like yeah. it can go it bad very so easily. Fresh, like, so it for it to be like this yeah. amazing, it takes a lot of skill and knowledge of the spices. And, and it's like basic stuff, you know. It's not yeah. like it does. It's not super sophisticated with like forty five no, different but ingredients, it's like but it's like party. yeah, but it's like home food. Yeah, yeah. I really like how it was presented. It was it was just an empty um, um, cherry yeah. tomato yeah. and then it was stuffed with um, horseradish. Yeah. <laughs> that's things 